Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create a payment method in Shopware 6. First of all, the payment methods can be found via settings, shop and payment methods. Here we can now see a list of all our payment methods. The payment methods can then be edited via edit details or just activated and deactivated directly via the button. On this page, you can also find the add payment method button, which we will use later on to create a new payment method. And you can also edit the display order and checkout. So the order how the different payment methods will be displayed in the storefront when the customer is in the checkout. So for example, if I want cash on delivery to be above pay in advance, you can just drag and drop these payment methods however you like, however you like, and then save them. It is also important to mention that if a payment method is active, this doesn't directly mean that the payment method is available for your customers in the storefront, because the payment method needs to be assigned to the sales channel via the payment and shipping and payment methods. So now let's create a new payment method via the add payment method button. Here now a new page is opened. That is also the same page that you will see if you edit an old payment method, but the fields are already filled in obviously. So now if you want to create the payment methods or the payment method, you need, first of all, you need a name. So for example, just test and also a technical name as this is used as explained in this question mark, the technical name is used to reference the payment method and is unique and required for all payment and shipping methods. So I would just use test as well as the technical name. Then you can select a position. So the position the payment method should be displayed in, in the storefront. You can however change this via the drag and drop function I showed before. So I can just leave this empty and it will fill out by itself. Then we can also add a description. So for example, test description. And this description will also be displayed in the storefront in the checkout, for example, as, as like an information text. You can also add a logo. This can be done by open, me open media. So media that you already have in your Shopware 6 installation. You can upload a new file or you can also upload a new file via a URL. This logo will also be displayed in the payment method in the checkout and in the footer, for example. Then you can activate the payment method and then there's the function allow payment change after checkout. If you activate this function, the customer is able to change the payment method after going through the checkout, so ordering an item, for example, and then later on changing his mind about the payment method. So he can then go via his customer account into his orders and change the payment method. If this function isn't enabled, this isn't possible and the customer has to pay via this payment method. The last thing to do in the payment method is choose an availability rule. So for which customers you want this payment method to be available. For this, you can use the rules from your rule builder. So you can either choose one that you've already created or that is in by default, for example. You can create a new rule or you can use the advanced selection to select multiple rules that should be true. In this case, however, I want all my customers to use this payment method. So I will just use always valid and save the payment method. As mentioned before, now that I want to show the payment method in the storefront, I will have to add it to my sales channel by adding test and saving the sales channel. And then now let's take a look at the storefront. I am now in the storefront and already logged in as a customer. And the customer can now move to payment methods. And here you can already see the new payment method and select this one as a default payment method, for example and change this. Now, if I move into the checkout, you'll see that the payment method is directly selected. The test description is also available and the customer can now submit his order via this new payment method.